Okay, hi guys. So this is a video uh, to help you through uh, replacing an existing NO2 module in an AQM65 with the newer OX ozone measurement system. Aeroqol recently made a change to the way we measure NO2 in the AQM65 and also in the AQS1. The traditional method was to use this long, long form factor NO2 module, which you see here in this AQM. Uh, most AQMs sold prior to about May of 2018 would have been sold with this long form factor NO2 module. AQMs sold after May, June 2018 will have been sold with the new OX ozone dual measurement system for NO2. And all AQS ones uh, are sold with the dual OX ozone system for measuring NO2. If you want to know a little bit more about why we made the change, um, then head on over to our website. It's www.aeroqual.com. Uh, have a look down on the uh, outdoor air quality monitor section. Click on compact air quality monitors, AQM65. Uh, I think it's on the sensors tab. You can go and have a look on there. Click on the NO2 analyzer module and you can read up a little bit more about why it was that we, we made this change, why we made this upgrade. It's worth noting that the NOx module for measuring uh, NOx uh, remains the same. So the NOx module uh, hasn't changed. Uh, that's still the long form factor module, but the NO2 now comes as a dual OX ozone system. But this video um, is really just about walking you through the steps to change from an existing long form factor NO2 down to the OX and the ozone system. Now, if you have an AQM65 which already has uh, an ozone module installed, um, then you will not need to install both of these uh, OX and ozone modules together. You'll just need to install the OX module alone. Uh, but if you don't have an existing ozone module and you need to replace your long form factor NO2 module, then you'll need to order the NO2 ozone system uh, as a pair. So I'll pop the part numbers on the screen below to show you which is which. So that's the OX ozone has a part number, but if you just need only the OX module, that's a different part number. I encourage you also to hop on over to our training website. That's training.aerocold.com. Uh, uh, if you on the landing page, you'll have a link to this video and also the user guide. Um, but if you click login, log in with your uh, username and password, um, and you can navigate down to the AQM65 technical training. Uh, and I think if you navigate down to section 5.2, you'll have a much more detailed uh, description about adding additional uh, modules. So in this particular case, uh, this AQM65 has a long form factor NO2, which we need to replace. Uh, it has a CO module and it has an SO2 module. It does not have an ozone module. So in this example, we'll be needing to remove the NO2 module and replace it with the OX module and the ozone module uh, combined. So that means that we actually need to add one additional module into the gas stream. So in order to do that, um, we'll be needing um, a tube cutter um, in order to make clean cuts of our sample tubing. Uh, we'll be needing the flexible Tigon tubing uh, for the exhaust. We'll be needing the rigid fluoropolymer tubing for the gas sampling. And we'll also be needing a small uh, collection of lure fittings. Please make sure that you use the correct lure fitting for the correct tubing. I'll pop an image on the screen now just to illustrate the point. Uh, the Tigon tubing requires the large barb for the T and also for the male lure. And the fluoropolymer tubing requires a smaller barb. It's really important that you get the barbs correct, otherwise you'll generate leaks. Uh, if you need uh, more lure connections, Aerocol sells a small bag of lure connections, I think the part code is on the screen in front of you, so you can order that from, from Aerocore. In addition to the physical addition of the module, which we're just going to demonstrate here, 
Uh, there's also an additional software change which needs to be made. Currently, only Aeroqual technical support staff can do that. So it's really important that uh, when you receive the OX module uh, from us or the new OX ozone system, if that's the case for your AQM, just write to technical.aeroqual.com, tell us that you've installed the new OX module, give us the serial number of your AQM 65, and then one of our support staff will very quickly be able to make that software change for you. Obviously, uh, it's really important that you've connected your AQM to our cloud server so that we can make that change. Okay, so in this particular example, we're just gonna quickly demonstrate for you how to change or add these additional modules. Here's an image on the screen now of uh, the before state with a long form factor. And then if we just quickly change to the after image, you can see that we've removed the long form factor module and we've now added the two uh, gas modules. I've used the tube cutter to make some clean cuts and you can see that there's now um, an additional uh, module um, in between the old NO2 module and the system manager module. Okay, so that was a fairly straightforward process. Uh, we removed the long form factor NO2 module. Uh, we replaced that with the uh, Aerocoil OX module and also we added one additional module in our case uh, then that was the ozone module. So now we have uh, one additional module compared to the previous configuration. Please remember that there's an additional software step required to do this uh, installation uh, and you must contact Aeroqol uh, in order to complete that software stage. So let's have a quick look now at what the data will look like uh, once we've completed the physical upgrade and once Aeroqol uh, engineers have uh, helped you with the software change as well. So I've logged on to cloud.aeroqual.com. This is our online cloud website. I've chosen an instrument which has had its original long form factor NO2 module uh, removed and that's been replaced with the OX module and Nozone module. Let's have a look in the configure instrument app. We can see in the list of active sensors, uh, we still have the NO2 sensor represented, uh, but we now have a new OX sensor, which has been added to the list of active sensors. And we also have an ozone module, which has been added to the list of active sensors. Have a quick look at your sensor list. Uh, if you have an AQM65, you should have the sensor list version 8.3.4 or higher. Uh, this change of sensor list is what one of the Aeroqual engineers will need to do for you in order to complete the transition from the long form factor NO2 module to the ozone ox system. You can't do this yourself. This needs to be done by one of the Aeroqual engineers. So please check that you have sensor list version 8.3.4 or above. If you have a look at the Manage Data uh, app, uh, you should see in the Manage Data app uh, your NO2 data plotted. There'll be no change uh, in the appearance of that. The data will be continuous from when you had the long form factor NO2 module, but you will now see a new OX module represented in the charts and also in the table. And if you haven't already had an ozone module, you will now see the ozone module appear also. It's important that we retain visibility of this OX module because uh, at a later date, when we come to calibrate uh, the system, we will in fact be calibrating the OX module towards NO2 gas and towards ozone gas. And that calibration process is gonna be the subject of the next part of this video. So this current video uh, showed you how to do the change from the long form factor NO2 to the OX ozone system. The next video will cover calibration. Thank you.